Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Arduino Opta software installation. Now the Arduino Opta can be programmed with basically two different software packages, the Arduino IDE and the Arduino PLC IDE. Arduino IDE is a traditional programming package for sketches or programs. C++ is used in sketches to develop your logic. Arduino PLC IDE will transfer your Arduino Opta into a micro PLC controller. Programs can be written in the standard IEC 611312-3 standard languages. These are ladder logic, function block diagram, structured text, sequential function chart, and instruction list. You can also mix PLC programming with Arduino sketches within the PLC IDE software. This Arduino PLC IDE environment brings deterministic cycles tasks and multitasking to your application. We will be installing both packages on our computer. Note that you do not have to purchase a software license for the Arduino PLC IDE when programming an Opto controller. As we install the software, we will also discuss the differences between these two programming methods and features. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Now the first thing to do is download our Arduino software. If we hit over to the download page on the Arduino website, you will see that we can download our software. Our computer is Windows 11. Once you select your version of the software to download based on your computer, the following donation screen will appear. You can donate to the software or select just download. This will now download the files to your computer. You will install the Arduino IDE. Now double click on the file to start the installation of the software. The Arduino IDE setup window will now display the license agreement. You must agree to the license to continue. Select I agree. You can now choose the installation options for the software. I have chosen only for me. Select next. The installation location is next. We will leave this as the default and select install. Our software will now be installed on our computer. This may take a few minutes. The Arduino IDE or Integrated Development Environment contains a text editor for writing code, a message area, a text console, a toolbar for buttons for common functions, and a series of menus. It connects the Arduino hardware, like an Opto, to upload programs and communicate with them. This IDE includes a simplified version of C++ language with a simplified syntax and additional library specified to the Arduino platform. This Opta can be programmed with Arduino IDE 1.8.10 plus, Arduino IDE 2.0 plus, or Arduino Web Editor. We will be installing the Arduino IDE 2.1.0, which is the latest release of the software. Once the software has been installed, we can select Finish. This will now start our Arduino IDE software. Once our Arduino IDE software starts, it will automatically update the core information. Allow this to update if you get security alerts. Within the Arduino IDE, install the core for the Opta. Go to Tools, Board, Board Manager. In the Board Manager's section, search for Opta MBED and install it. We are now ready to upload sketches to the Opta via the Arduino IDE. Arduino PLC IDE. 
scroll down the page until you see the Arduino PLC IDE software. Now the Arduino PLC IDE will only run in the Windows environment. You will need a computer that is Windows 10 or newer and 64-bit. There are two files that we need to download, tools and the actual Arduino PLC IDE. Once again, you'll get a donate screen when downloading these files. We can just hit download. Note that the Arduino PLC IDE tools must be installed before the PLC IDE. Double click on the tools to start the installation of the software first. The Arduino PLC IDE tools setup screen will be displayed. A welcome screen will be shown. Select next. A destination folder can now be specified for the tools. We will leave this as the default and select next. We are now ready to install the tool software. Select install. The window will now show you the progress of the installation. Once the tool software has been installed, we can select finished. We can now call up the Arduino PLC IDE program and double click on it. This will now start the installation. The setup Arduino PLC IDE 1.0.3.1 screen will now be displayed. We can select the destination location. We will leave this as the default location for the software, select next. The start folder will now be displayed. We can leave this as the default and select next. Leave the default to create a desktop icon and select next. Our software is now ready to install. Select the install button. The software will now install. An indication will be shown of the progress. Arduino PLC IDE is part of the Pro Series. It will allow you to boost production and build automation with your own industry 4.0 control system. As mentioned previously, this integrated development environment will allow you to program in ladder logic as well as four other languages part of the IEC 61131-1 standard. The Arduino PLC IDE will also allow you to mix your PLC programming with Arduino sketches. This software will be used to download firmware to the Opto PLC that will enable this Arduino to become a PLC. The Opto with the Arduino PLC IDE will provide the following functionality deterministic cycle tasks and multitasking, so timing of critical tasks can be easily done, online monitoring and changing variables, easily troubleshoot and mon monitor what's happening in the controller in real time. Online programming changes, this will allow you to change your program while it is running. No more stopping to upload and download your modified code. Integrated no-code field bus configurators for Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, and can open communications. Communication implementation becomes easily done. The Arduino PLC IDE software has now started. The workspace can now be seen. It is composed of a number of elements. We have an output window. The output window is the place where the PLC IDE prints out output messages. This window contains four tabs, build, find and project, debug and resources. We have a status bar, Status bar displays the state of the application at its left border and an animated control reporting the state of communication at its right border. Library tree. Libraries are a powerful tool for sharing objects between PLC IDE projects. Workspace window. The workspace window consists of two distinct panels, projects and resources. Toolbars. PLC IDE allows the user to hide or show specific toolbars to fully customize the workspace. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. 
I'll see you next time. Stay safe.